When Apple announced its latest Apple TV 4K last week at its spring event, it also talked about a new color balance feature that came with the new tvOS 14.5 update for existing Apple TV HD and Apple TV 4K models. So let's take a quick look at how this feature works. To be clear, you do not need to go out and buy the new Apple TV 4K that's coming later in May in order to use this feature. Again, any existing Apple TV HDs or Apple TV 4Ks will work just fine. So from here, you'll need to go into the Settings app on your Apple TV. And under Audio and Video, you'll see Color Balance in the Calibration section. Now, if you have 4K Dolby Vision turned on like I do here, you'll see that it says Color Balance is not necessary as it's already accurate. So in order to get this video going, I had to turn that off. And once you do that, the color balance option will no longer be grayed out. You'll then see a card pop up on your iPhone, resembling one that you would see when you're setting up a pair of AirPods. And from here, you'll be prompted to bring your iPhone near your TV, approximately one inch away from the screen. This new feature uses the iPhone's front-facing camera to match the color shown on the Apple TV with industry standard specifications used by cinematographers. So once the process does its thing and it runs through all of the steps, which takes roughly a minute or so, your Apple TV will tailor its video output to deliver more accurate colors and improved contrast with no need to adjust television settings. Now, the results for me were uh, very, very minimal, at least on my TV here at the office. I've tested on some other TVs that I have at home and the results were a bit more dramatic in comparison, but of course, when I have my camera pointed at the TV, at the only one that I have here, there was hardly a noticeable difference. Everything seemed to be already pretty accurate on the Roku 6 Series Mini LED TV. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts on all of this. Have you tried this on your TV? Were your results as subtle as mine or far more drastic? Go ahead and let me know what TV you tested yours on and your thoughts in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.